Welcome back to BH Solar 100, and this is going to be a video and an update video on my seed starter. Right now, we've got lots of seeds started for our greenhouse outside, and as you enter, we got some new grow lights. As you can see, those colored. This color is a new grow light. We got it's. I guess it's a shop clamp light. It clamps on squeeze it and it clamps on and run it up and plug it in and it's got this little switch that turns it off and it's got reflectors so that we get all the light we can out of it and if you look let's look at a different one so you see we get in there this camera can catch it they're LED they take two watts a bulb there, I don't know how many LEDs there are, but if you can see, there's different LEDs. They're bumpy, different LED bulbs. Let me show this off. Now you can see it better. There's like different LEDs. And there's some blue for blue. I forget what it's called, but there's blue and red. And I know the blue is for sprouting. And that's what fluorescence and usually all lights give off. And red is for um, fruiting. So we got these and they're working great. Let's see, just flip on. They take two watts of bulbs, so we can run quite a few of them. And so those are our grow lights. They're LED grow lights, they're working good. We have these black trays that I think I showed you, and these black trays seem to work pretty good. We just fill it with dirt, and as you can see, dirt in there, and plant seeds, and then with tape, and we put front, middle, back, and then we have a little divider right there. It's a piece of bark right there and so first we have purple tomatillos basil purple ruffles and yellow pear tomatoes so these would be the purple tomatillos or tom tomatillos I think it's tomatillos though I don't know if you can see this sometimes the grow light doesn't help to see but I think you can see them better now those are those the basil and then back here is the yellow pear tomato. So keep you updated on everything. These will be going in our greenhouse. Right here is a ground cherry that's flowering and it's doing amazing in this light. It just loves it. We have another ground cherry back here. This is a gherkin. They are like a cucumber that has spines on them. They're really cool. And so, if you update on all this stuff, this is going to be all new stuff for us this year. We put saran wrap on it um, for to keep all these seeds wet and everything under here and warmer. It's down by our wood stove, so it keeps it warm. Right in the front is albino bullnose peppers. This is sweet basil. And then, oh, what's back here? This back here, if you can see, some are coming up. Is Italian pepperoncini. So, I think it's pepperoncini. It's, let's see, Italian pepperoncini or pepperoncini. So. And then we have broccoli, or this is cauliflower, right here. Tons of cauliflower. And then that's broccoli back there. And I forget what this middle is. Um, but we have it turned around so that you can't see it. The tape. And then under here, there's different things that aren't sprouted yet. These are petunias right here. And these are called roselles. They're super cool, different plants, different looking plants. They're supposed to put off beautiful flowers, 
that really, um, they really, you can eat them and freeze them and make jams out of them. Let's keep you updated on that. Different stuff back here. I'm not sure quite everything. Come back up here. We have Gypsy Tomatoes. We have Chadwick Cherry Tomatoes. Right here. And Pink Brandywine back there. We're just trying to sprout some spearmint. Some tobacco. Um, this right here is... Oh, I can't remember. It's a Pepino Melon. This is a... White Wonder Watermelon. These are tons of different peppers that we planted. There's 50 of them. They're bell peppers. Those are tomatoes back there. These are provider beans. Bush beans. They're doing good. And I want to know if anyone can tell me if you can pinch the flowers off and they'll still flower after that. That would be helpful to know. And then we have some stuff in here. A few things came up. I don't think you can see if you can see it in there. There's a few different things that came up in there. Um, none of these. Tiger melon, gotcho melon, kiwano melon, and sugar baby melons. These right here, um, are a plume mix. I forget what they're called. So you can see. Pompous Plume Mix, I think it's called. Keep you up there on those. They ain't going out in the garden. This is Indigo Rose Tomatoes. Um, early Doll Tomatoes back there. These are some melons that I saved. I'm not sure what they're called. They're just a melon, I guess. This is Indigo Rose. This is albino bullnose pepper, is what they look like when they come up. This is purple of silicacy cauliflower. Different things. Big Bertha peppers are coming up. Purple beauty peppers are coming up. And lemon basil. That's some corn. They, I, I learned that corn is actually better to be started indoors than outdoors. So if you have corn, don't wait till, till to start it outdoors. If you have the room, start it indoors. And then nothing really came up in here. This is Columbine. Um, silver dust. Col Columbine giant mixed. So, different things are coming up in here. Can't really see it though. Basil Genovese, Radicchio, Tall, Radicchio Short, they're coming up. And then this is the last of it. This is a pumpkin. We saved our seeds, and this is just, this is a two week old pumpkin. If you can see this, it's in a nice um, two and a half quart, but three quart container. It's it's getting ready to flower if I can get up there. And I don't want it to, so if you can see that, that's a flower right there. It's getting ready to. It's only two weeks old. It's a monster of a plant. So that's very cool. And somebody commented on how I water my plants. And we have a sprayer that you fill with water and you just push a button and it comes out. It's a little more complicated. We got this online um, you can also get it at Runnings, um, and it's Sure Spray, Chapin, um, and it's got this, and I can't open it, but it's full of water, if you can see that. It's a gallon, and it's got a spray hose that comes out, and you grab it, let's try and get it. And you got a button on top that you push, and water comes out. Let's see, I'm pushing that button. But how you get the pressure, you just push a button, is this pops, unlocks, and it comes up. 
and you push down, and you hear, that. you hear the air going in there, and then it locks. It locks again, you can carry it around, and you can spray. Um, we love this sprayer, it just works great. We spray everything with it, it's a gallon, and I hope this answers your question. Um, it's just a nice little sprayer. It's nice, we carry it around. So, if you want to look into one of these, they work great. I would highly recommend them. Thank you for watching this video. Hope that you um, had a good time watching it and learned something. And I hope that we I can learn from any of you out there. This is um, BH Solar 100. Have a nice day.